Good morning everyone, I am Dr. Satya Dasa, MDDL Clinical Pharmacologist and today I am going to talk on Thalidomide. We all know that Thalidomide was widely used uh, drug in the late 1950s and early 1960s for the treatment of nausea in uh, pregnant women and it was banned at that time due to bad effects like Pocobelia in children. But now it is repurposed for other indications uh, and Thalidomide is in immunomodulatory class of drugs. According to the mechanism of action, it has anti-angiogenic properties. It inhibits interleukin-6, which is a growth factor for the proliferation of myeloma cells. And in addition, it activates apoptotic pathways uh, through caspase 8 mediated cell death. And it is available as oral capsule 50 mg. And the dose is tablet thalidomide 50 mg once daily with water or tablet Thalidomide 100 mg once daily with water or tablet thalidomide 200 mg once daily with water, etc. And coming to the pharmacokinetic parameter, thalidomide exhibits absorption rate limited pharmacokinetics or flip flop phenomenon. And half life of thalidomide is 6 hours, clearance is 10 liter per hour, peak concentration, peak plasma concentration uh, is 2 to 6 hours. Uh, and coming to the indication, it is indicated in case of erythoma, nodosome, leprosome, that is a painful skin disease associated with leprosy and multiple myeloma and myelodysplastic syndrome. It can also be used in aphthous ulcers, AIDS related Kaposi sarcoma, uh, autoimmune conditions, and tuberculosis, and a lot of indications are there. And coming to the contraindications, the contraindications, it is contraindicated really in pregnancy and women with childbearing age unless there are no other alternatives available. And coming to the adverse drug reactions, it can cause teratogenesis and sedation, uh, it can cause uh, tremors, peripheral neuropathy, uh, hypersensitivity skin reactions like skin rashes, urticaria, isonophilia, and neutropenia, it can also cause constipation, venous thromboembolism, etc. But uh, these drugs are having side effects, so these drops to be given according to the guideline and with caution. Thank you very much.